um, three words have come out that I think were really important, not just they were not the three words that were the most important, but that really struck me. One is beauty, the other is quality. You, you said the Q word. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were talking about visuality and how we live in this visually rich culture. And I think what's fascinating is that really since before any of us were even thought about in the, the, from the, almost the medieval times, beauty is a word that has been problematic. And it almost has, has been a bad word since then. And I think beauty is almost something that we're, we're almost alcoholics. There's so much beautiful culture in this world that we've become inured to what it is to think about beauty. We have so much gorgeous design, fantastic architecture, wonderful visual imagery that is horrible, ultimately, but that is also really beautiful, that we don't even like to think about that word. And then you put on top of that, is this beautiful, yes or no, who's making that judgment? And then is it good quality? And this is what we in the museum world are really struggle with. How, who is the arbiter of quality? What right do I have to say that this is good quality and, and it should go in the museum? Um, so those two words come together. And one of my favorite uh, situations that had happened to me was that an artist, a living artist with whom I was working and whose work we'll have in the museum next, um, next, next January, he was very, very, very excited that Michael Kimmelman at the New York Times had reviewed his show. And he really didn't know what to do with it because Michael began the, the review, which was above the fold, national art. You know, this is, a great, this is a wonderful British artist, Howard Hodgkin, who really likes to think of him as worth that. His quality re deserves to be on the front page of the National Times, New York Times by Michael Kimmelman. But Michael began his review with, Howard Hodgkin's show at Yale is among the most beautiful exhibitions I have ever seen. When Howard and his coterie and the, the scholars decided to excerpt that in a new catalog of work, they did not include that word because that almost is saying that his worth is not worthy of museum work because it is beautiful. So quality and beauty no longer can be put in the same, in the same sentence. Um, and I think that, that we need to realize when we are talking about art across all of the kinds of art that we live with, that it, is, it does matter. And we are an incredibly visually erudite society across the world. But we don't think of ourselves as that. We think of ourselves as you know, ruled by the word. And how do we bring the conversation about beauty back to one that is about objects? And that's what we at the museum do best, is bring objects of diverse quality, of diverse beauty that look different. Beauty meant something different in 1765 than 1665 than it does today. You know, who here thinks that, I don't know, um, who's the best? Lady Gaga is beautiful. So who, right, okay. <laughs> but who thought that Madame de Pompadour was beautiful? Is it the same standard of beauty? It's the woman I work with is really, really not beautiful in the 17th century, but yet she was the beauty of her day. So how can we make people understand and be more tolerant through a discussion of beauty by looking backwards and forwards as we move in the world? And I think that art and visuality are, the, are where we need to do that, but it's not just Painting on the wall is a modernist experience of a cube, you know, a four by four cube of two dimensions on a white wall. That is of interest to some people, but what we need to do is make connection between what happens when you go to the Getty Villa, what happens when you go to UCSD, what happens when you go to um, a jazz concert, what happens when you are in Tijuana. Wherever you are, where you're in the vacant lot, wherever you are, you are going to find beauty. And that means that all kinds of beauty are relevant to our daily lives. Yeah. So I think from the museum's perspective, our mission is to make people understand that they live in a world filled with art. And we have one kind of art at the Museum of Art next door. They have a different sort of art here at Mingay 
But that doesn't mean it's all not art, or that one kind is art and the other is not, or that it's necessarily all beautiful. Your reaction is the important thing.